Course Overview Welcome to this Naturally Occurring Radioactive Material or NORM course, which is intended for workers who may be required to conduct NORM surveys and, consequently, may be exposed to NORM. This course provides a basic introduction to NORM and the use of the Ludlum 397 Radiation Survey Meter for NORM detection. By the end of this course, you should be able to explain what NORM is and where it comes from, list three types of ionizing radiation, describe the annual effective radiation dose limit, conduct a pre-use inspection of the Ludlum 397, operate the Ludlum 397, including perform a background radiation test, calculate and convert radiation measurements, and survey for gamma, alpha, and beta radiation, and provide the results of a NORM survey. Chapter 1. NORM Basics Outside of nature, NORM may be found in facilities such as oil and gas facilities, fertilizer plants, especially those that produce phosphate fertilizers, mines and other underground works such as tunnels, foundations, and vaults, power plants, or water treatment facilities. Substances that come from underground, such as oil and gas, may become contaminated by NORM, such as radioactive uranium and thorium isotopes and their various decay products, which may include radon and radium. Ordinarily, these radioactive concentrations aren't high enough to be a safety concern, but in some situations, such as when huge volumes of oil or gas products are processed in vessels or pipes, these products may be subject to chemical reactions or to changes in temperature or pressure. Over time, this can result in an accumulation of norm as it precipitates out of the product flow and forms concentrated scale or sludge in pipes, vessels, downhole production tubing or pumps, wellheads, transmission lines, especially where flows are affected by chokes, valves, elbows, or filters, refinery vessels, or gas plants, especially when propane and ethane are involved.